All right, I also have my colleague Shibu joining us uh, as we stay with these pictures. Crucial moment there, Shibu, and uh, critical checks that are underway, especially the big loop, that is the communication channel used by NASA. Uh, exactly what is happening when it comes to checking the pressure, checking that uh, as they cross on, it is all conducive to be able to take the crew inside. Take us through what's happening. Uh, so at the moment what we are seeing is that the, the hatch on the International Space Station and the uh, Dragon spacecraft are being pressurized with oxygen, with air, uh, because uh, the, 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 the hatch on the International Space Station was exposed to the vacuum when the docking was happening. Now that the docking has completed, they are going to stabilize the pressure, they are going to uh, flow air into it, oxygen is required. So once that uh, stabilization is achieved, the communications are achieved, the, both the sides of the hatches will be open. Now we see that uh, the, the hatch on the side of the International Space Station has been open. We are awaiting for the opening of the hatch on the Dragon spacecraft. Now we know that the four astronauts have completed over 28 hour long journey uh, when once they launched from Florida on Wednesday at 12.01 12 p.m. yesterday. Uh, it's been 28 hour long journey. Uh, they have been maneuvering the spacecraft slowly and gradually to the International Space Station. We did see in the earlier live stream that the space station, uh, the Dragon spacecraft was initially underneath the space station. It had to fly on top of it to finally dock to the Harmony uh, port on the space station. Now that the docking is complete, all eyes are now on opening of the hatch on both sides on the space station and on the Dragon spacecraft. Once the pressure is stabilized, once the airflow is uh, achieved, the, uh, the, 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 the Dragon hatch will be opened. Now at the moment, the astronauts, the four Axiom crew astronauts with India, Shubhanshu Shukla, are removing their spacesuits. They are preparing for entering and stepping inside the space station for the first time. Oh yes, absolutely. Continue talking to us, Shibu, especially to break down the technical terms for our viewers. Big Loop, for example, we hear is uh, what is underway. What does it mean? How are the communication checks and the communication primarily happening with the Big Loop? Network that NASA uses to communicate with the International Space Station. It's a communication network that goes on with satellites. Uh, it's, it's a complete grid uh, that, that is made by satellites. Uh, to have a coordination between the space station and NASA. Now we know that there currently there are seven uh, astronauts living aboard the International Space Station. With the four other astronauts now entering, it will be a total of 11 astronauts. That requires a lot of coordination. Uh, the, the astronauts are from multiple countries, from multiple organizations. We have astronauts from NASA, we have astronauts from Japanese Space Agency, we have astronauts from the, uh, from the Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos. And now with the four other astronauts coming, we have astronauts from the Indian Space Research Organization, uh, we have astronauts from uh, uh, Hungary and Poland who represent the European Space Agency. So to establish a coordination, to have a smooth communication with all these organizations, the Big Loop is used. The Big Loop eventually is a communication network between the International Space Station and uh, the NASA, the Mission Control and the SpaceX Mission Control. Oh yes, and uh, what about the next steps really? Because we understand that this entire process, uh, all in all, takes about two hours. Uh, continue to work through all right, let's listen in to and again targeting this audio. Approximately 8.35 a.m. Central Time for welcoming remarks as the International Space Station and Expedition 73 crew bring in and welcome aboard Axiom at Mission 4. Both the orbiting laboratory and the newly docked SpaceX Dragon spacecraft over the northern Pacific Ocean about to cross into the west coast of North America right along the U.S.-Canadian border. And also around that time we will start seeing an orbital daytime period as Dragon and the International Space Station have been orbiting in a nighttime phasing. <laughs> 